I mean, what was your reaction when you were approached about working on an ensemble cast? Um, it was uh, real exciting because I've never done it. I've never worked with such a large cast. And I'm really pleased because it's worked out to be a real, a real group of, of loving people and a lot of support. I think a lot of young actors, you're looking for that vehicle when you're getting your career really rolling. Did you have any hesitancy at all in sharing the limelight with so many people? Not at all. Not, not, I, I mean, I didn't think twice about it. I really only saw it as a, as a, as a positive move in my life and in my career. Well, I'm sort of like the baby, the real newcomer. Um, everybody seemed to work with everyone, but I'm the only one that uh, is, is new to everyone. And they've made me feel right at home, I must say. And, you know, it's unusual. Usually a lot of times there's the possibility of egos getting in the way, and it really has not been that way at all. What about St. Elmo's Fire? What, what do you, well, I guess this, this has been compared to the Big Chill over and over, sort of the Little Chill or whatever you want to call it. Um, what, is, what is the meaning behind it? It's not car crashes and things like a lot of young people films are. What, what do you think it's trying to say to people of your generation? The film overall, is that what you mean? Um, I think it's really just trying to um, show the reality of people entering their freshman year of life. You know, it's, it's, we don't have car crashes and we don't have gimmicks and it's, it's really just our relationships with each other and how we have to grow up, you know, um, as a group and as individuals. You know, I just, I, a lot of people have compared it to the big chill and I, who am I to say whether it is or not. I find it's, it could be only in the sense that um, it's us before that point because we don't have a common you know, um, reason why we're all, all in this, except for that we're just friends. I mean, we're not coming back for a death. It's really just the beginning of our lives. And I, I have a wild one within this, in this, in this film. Wild one what? <laughs> I, my, I play Jules, and she's just a, a, a real exciting person to play. Um, she's a lot like me, but at the same time, she's so far... Uh, removed from my thinking and it's been a real challenge I think that's been the nice thing with Joel's casting he's been real insightful in, in placing us because it's we're all playing extensions of ourselves that are, are real are real you know inward inward places that we've probably not yet looked at it's really hard for me I I had such a different life I never really had this kind of um, of experience. I was always, you know, I, I was more of a, of a loner in that sense. I never really had this, a group. So it's a new experience for me. What about, did you go to college? No, I didn't. Did you, do you find that in the questioning that your characters are all doing now, did you, what was, was that a, re- a wrestling match for you, whether to go, whether not to go, whether to work? Not at all. I chose what I, what I wanted to do. Um, this is something I'd like to do now. I'd like to go back. I don't know if I can handle fraternity life. <laughs> uh.